That's right, we're making a return trip to no one's favorite cartoon. Except maybe Spider-Man's. So we sally forth against the foe, a band of proud and skyward hope, with Rocket, Robin Hood. I have such a love-hate relationship with Rocket Robin Hood, really. It's like I have nostalgia for a show that bored me as a kid. And now I have the DVD sets. I wish I had these when I did the Spider-Man episode comparisons, but these sets are long out of print and it wasn't easy finding them at a somewhat decent price. Now, as I've mentioned before, Rocket Robin Hood was one of those, oh, I got up too early, I'm bored, and all they're playing is stupid old cartoons, so I guess I'll watch this shows. But this future Robin Hood in space show could get really insane sometimes. Especially when he travels to the fifth dimension via a space cat and has to find a red skeleton demon guy named Infinata, which was made extra nuts and memorable when Spider-Man did the exact same thing. A mistake I made when covering the whole Spider-Man copies Rocket Robin Hood episodes was calling Infinata a one-off character. He was anything but a one-off character. He was a two-off character. I swear when I was re-looking over these series and reading what little I could find that seemed somewhat credible on Rocket Robin Hood, I didn't see any mention of another Infinata episode. So I guess this is some kind of Mandela effect or something, because I swear, for me, it feels like the episode Return Trip just suddenly manifested. What in the name of Neptune? You said it, little John. Return Trip is actually the last episode of Rocket Robin Hood, and is indeed another story where he returns to Dementia 5 to face Infinata. Well, with a giant asterisk around that. Remember how I said Rocket Robin Hood's third episode of facing Dr. Mana was a case of Rocket Robin Hood steals from Rocket Robin Hood? Well, that is 100% what's going on here as well. And for some bonus points, this episode not only steals from the episode Dementia 5, but also lists footage from the other Spider-Man copied episode where he faced Dr. Manta from Menace to Menace. This reused episode-ception is almost enough to drive you so mad you go to Dementia 5 just with that, but guess what? That's not the end of it! This episode actually features Rocket Robin Hood's main antagonists as well, Prince John and the Sheriff of Not. But not new footage, because of course not! If you remember, Ralph Bakshi was tasked with saving money on this show, and boy was he ever with these episodes near the end of the series' run, which reused so much footage they are just barely, barely not clip shows. Because they do at least have characters say different lines. Well, sometimes anyway. There was one, though, that was just a straight-up clip show with The Planet of Dreams, where they get high on mushrooms and have flashbacks. And guess what one of the episodes flashed back to was? Of course, none other than Dementia 5. Hey, Robin, stop dreaming. Dreaming. Dementia 5. Prepare yourselves for a voyage into Dementia 5! So really, Infinata never stopped appearing. Infinata's appeared Infinata times. Oh, and they also remember Manta's damn beetles again! Will, do those giant mushrooms remind you of anything? Yeah, Manta's beetles. Weird. They didn't remind me of that. Now, the Prince John and Sheriff of Knott's footage for Return Trip is largely lifted from the episode The Plot to Destroy Knott. Damn it, Rocket Robin Hood! Damn it! Again, to be fair to Ralph Bakshi, the money for this series was pretty much completely gone at this point, and he was still expected to make five more episodes. Which is why the last five got very heavy on the reused footage. And speaking of reused footage, one of the things kind of infuriating about any episode of Rocket Robin Hood was always the amount of filler material you'd see every time. Robin robs from the cosmic rich to give to the astral pool in the astonishing years to come. You'd see a bunch of these just watching one episode during the act breaks, which were given their own titles and would do a short recap before continuing the story. 
And yes, Return Trip used the Friar Tuck character bio filler segment, so I gotta bring that up again. <laughs> It's good he wastes food, though, because in the year 3000, the stupid little space urchins can come and eat his scraps. That's the future of philanthropy for ya. And you know what? Every damn episode actually used a Friar Tuck bumper segment between Acts 2 and 3. None of these things actually ever changed, so really all you got were two segments on Robin between Act 1 and 2, and then Little John and Friar Tuck between 2 and 3. Screw the rest of you! Strongest member of Rocket Robin Hood's band is Little John. When the problems call for heavy thinking, it's time for the one and only Friar Tuck to come to the rescue. Rocket Robin Hood is a direct descendant of Robin Hood of old. And the rest! Though hearing about Marion using cosmetics to destroy robots, the space chef making astro food, and Will Scarlet being a wiener aren't anywhere close to being as important as hearing Friar Tuck eats a lot every damn time. Now having the DVD sets, I was reminded too that after the opening theme song, before you'd actually get to the episode, you also had to sit through another song every time. To rally round Rocket Robin Hood, braver man has never been born. I wish Rocket Robin Hood was never born! And I guess he wasn't. Now even though I got the DVD sets, unfortunately some of the masters used for it seem to have been degraded a bit, so Return Trip is kind of overexposed and desaturated. You can see from an old TV rip that originally it didn't look this way, however the TV rip is pretty horrid quality. I'm overdue for a nice long vacation myself, and why don't we? Because my friend, duty calls. So yeah, it's kinda rough, but the DVD sounds way better and isn't jumpy. I'll try to fix the picture as much as I can, though. Planets once stable in their orbits are being ripped apart by cosmic forces of unknown origin. Return Trip was absolutely the perfect title for this episode with all the recycling going on. They didn't even bother to try and hide it. This episode starts exactly the same as the Dementia 5 episode did. The galaxy of Kamoza, it suddenly begins to explode. The galaxy of Kamoza has done pretty well for itself considering it's been blown up three times now. This time though, the plants are apparently being blown up by rockets. Rockets, huh? Sounds like my old arch nemesis Rocket Robin Hood. One of the shots in here is the one that originally zoomed out to reveal Infinata, but he's not supposed to be doing it this time, so ignore that. Another thing that you probably should ignore is that we once again visit the planet of Gorth. You know, Athom's home planet. The one that discovered the secrets of Dementia 5 and got blown up by Infinata. Oh, Athom, it all ends like this. The planets exploding are much quieter this time. Oh, this is a totally different planet now, though, because it's not Athom anymore, it's... Ah, uh, Gandalf. The universe explodes before our very eyes. Gandalf? Really now? Guess Ralph Bakshi was just dropping hints that he wanted to do a Lord of the Rings movie. Rocket Robin Hood predicts the future, just like The Simpsons. In the astounding year 3000. What is happening? I don't know, Atom. Oh, but the other Gorthian who wasn't actually named in Dementia 5 or Revolt in the Fifth Dimension is now named Atom. Yes, they removed the H from Atom. It's now Atom. If you notice it's the same episode, screw you! We ain't hiding shit! All of our scientists are working day and night to find the answer to this riddle. Are we then doomed? It looks that way. Jeez, at least Athom had a plan, which was run away, but still he tried to give their info on Infinata to either a space thief or Spider-Man. The important thing is he never tried to give it to a mischievous raccoon. That never happened. What are you doing, Gandalf? 
I'm sending an intergalactic distress signal. Are you? It looks an awful lot like you're standing there doing nothing. Gandalf the useless. But I'm afraid it's no use. We are doomed. Band of brothers, shoulder to shoulder. Imagine getting a text message from Gandalf saying, Hey, the universe is exploding. Don't worry about doing anything, though. We're doomed. Then, what looks like an animation error occurs when a beam fades in from Gandalf's head, though I think the idea was that this was him very lazily sending the distress call. What is it, Robin? I'm not quite sure, Will, but it sounds like some sort of distress signal. Count me out. I didn't go with you to Dementia 5. Yeah, but you did come with me in the Dr. Manta episode, so you're not skipping out on this this time, wiener boy. Ah, damn it. It's coming from Outer Space Quadrant 5, Sector 17. That's the sector where we ran into our friend Infinata a few months back. What? Infinata was in another dimension, not just another sector of space. Did you forget the weird red door and space cat? It's a dimension beyond space, beyond light, beyond time itself. It's a dimension beyond space, beyond light, beyond time itself. Yeah, but it's just right over there. Something smells as fishy as a Venusian jungle squid. <laughs> And you know how fishy those are. Will and I better go take a look, Little John. You wait here till the sensors show our ship entering the area, then track us on your radar and follow. I don't want to ride with you, Little John. You stink. But you're in the Dementia 5 stuff, so you have to be there. Sweet Saturn, Robin. Yes. Sweet Saturn, indeed. The Warlord of Saturn, by the way, was originally involved in the Prince John and Sheriff of Knot plot involving their rocket footage lifted from the plot to destroy Knot. The Warlord of Saturn was a reoccurring villain who originally kind of looked like Mere Universe Spock, but he turned green in Season 3 after the cartoon style changed when Ralph Bakshi moved the animation to New York. I suppose this has something to do with Little John's strange behavior. He was most cooperative in leading me to your ass. I'm not a anxious to meet up with Infinata and his spooks again. Again? You never met them in the first place, Will! Will Scarlet was briefly in the original Dementia 5 episode, but he just kind of said good luck with that and stayed home. Sometimes I wonder why I didn't take up free fall farming. What the hell is free fall farming? Planting crops during an uncontrolled drop? By Saturn Shadow, my sheer brilliance has done it again. Get it, Sheriff? That stupid Saturn guy was originally a part of this. I don't get anything! Damn you, Sheriff! What do you mean, Prince? Idiot. Don't you have a mind? Well, don't answer. I need to talk really quickly if it's more fast! I'm sending my plutonium missiles into Infinata's home area. <laughs> Our friend Rocket Robin will have to investigate. I don't understand, Prince. Yes. Once Rocket Robin gets there, he'll invariably fall into the claws of that madman Infinata. So Prince John is just blowing up multiple planets in the hope that somehow this will get Rocket Robin Hood to go get killed by Infinata. I know Prince John isn't supposed to know exactly where Shearwood Asteroid is, but making an educated guess is gonna be easier than sending missiles into a thought dimension. Also, was the whole Rocket Robin Hood going to a weirdo space cat dimension widely publicized? How does Prince John know about Infinata? This is made kinda extra funny too, since the original plot about the missile had the Warlord of Saturn steal it from Prince John, so he and Rocket Robin Hood had to team you want us to do your dirty work? That missile carries an oxonite warhead. If it is turned on me, the surrounding planets will also be destroyed. All right, we'll do it. Guess Prince John got a little more evil and moved beyond money to just destroy everyone. I want more taxes! More! You'd think, though, this plan might make Infinata go after the guy supposedly somehow sending missiles near him. Like, this is the guy that can just blow up planets because he's pissy. You really want to be fucking with that, Prince John? 
But we don't have footage of Infinata with Prince John already, so he's fine. This also makes Mr. We Are All Doomed Gandalf look even dumber for giving up so easily when it was just stupid Prince John and not anything supernatural. It's some guy sending rockets? Well, we can't stop that because, I don't know, I don't want to get in a spaceship and do things. We are doomed because you're lazy? I don't see you going to stop him. Yeah, that's fair. Gandalf the Man of Action. That is what they used to call me. I am Gandalf the Lazy. After all the mid-act filler, we get to part two, which will seem extra familiar. Little John, we're going beyond the speed of light. Impossible, but it's happening. The scene keeps happening over and over. Impossible, but it's happening. Little John, we're going beyond the speed of light. Impossible, but it's happening. I'm going through some sort of force field. Impossible. But it's happening. I'm starting to slightly care about the current situation. Impossible, but it's happening. We're breaking up. Wait a second. Wasn't that little John? Get the last reading from the computer. But why? Just do it, mister. Yeah, even though little John was supposed to follow Will and Robin in a different ship, suddenly he's just there because of extra lazy reusing of the entry of Dementia 5 exactly with the same lines. <laughs> Again, the mortal Robin Hood comes. Again, they couldn't get the original voice actor for Infinata, apparently, as they had to have someone else do the few new lines they gave him in the Spider-Man version, too. You are now in Dementia 5, the fifth dimension. Who is this flying boy? Have they no fear of the dark forces I command? I will teach them not to trifle with me. The return trip Infinata voice, I gotta say, is the biggest downgrade as it makes him sound like a generic goon. Again, he and his merry men invade my sacred privacy. You summoned them into Dementia 5 last time, you dumbass! Prepare yourselves for a voyage into Dementia 5! <laughs> I gotta say, too, the original episode had a kind of creepy mindfuck tone to it where that is very largely lost in the lazy retread. Well, the first lazy retread, anyway. So Robin Hood and Little John are once again sucked into Dementia 5 while Will Scarlet sits around and twiddles his thumbs, I guess. Also, downgrade Infinata here lost his little Slimer buddy. Guess he quit in between episodes. Which is why Infinata has to steal from Dr. Manta now. I have released my Beatles. So even though Robin Hood and Little John got sucked into Dementia 5, suddenly Robin Hood is back with Will Scarlet on the ship so that they can straight up reuse from Menace to Menace footage with no changes. Oh, the Look, Robin, what's that? Manta's up to his old tricks. What? You mean Infinata, right, Robin? <laughs> I will hate you forever, Will. Any ideas? If my hunch is right, these beetles are robots. Infinata is some kind of dimensional magic skeleton space wizard. Why would he be using robots? Any ideas? If my hunch is right, these beetles are robots. My hunch is right. These beetles are robots. Luckily, random hunches are absolutely correct in all three episodes. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Wonderful. We see Manta's screen where he's watching Will Scarlet get inside the beetle, but of course, no Manta this time. And now it's Little John's time to sit around and play with himself, I guess. <laughs> What's this? What are they doing? They've gone inside the robot. What? What are they doing? They dare defile my robot insects. If only you had demons to grab them again. 
Remote and manual. That's simple enough. Think I'll take over for a while. Remote and manual. That's simple enough. Think I'll take over for a while. Remote and manual. That's simple enough. Think I'll take over for a while. Why does Infanada even have a manual control switch complete with a cockpit inside these? All set, Will? No, I'm scared. All set, Will? Everybody, do the jump from the beetle. And now, Infanado lives in a castle that looks suspiciously like Dr. Manta's. They must be taught a lesson. I will loose my stone elephant against them. You will loose your stone elephant? Infanada, I expected better out of you. Not sure why. They will be crushed to dust. <laughs> <laughs> Infinita, you've definitely lost it, sir. Let's, Let's get, get out of here! here. I'm, I'm with you! Come on! They have been set upon by Infinita's charging stone elephant. Now, with the stone elephant thing, maybe originally it was supposed to look like an elephant and there was some kind of miscommunication that led to it looking like a rhino instead. But by this point, they knew what it looked like and they still had dummy Infinita call it an elephant. I will loose my stone elephant. Stone elephant. The merry men have crashed through the light barrier and entered the domain of Infinata. The light barrier that is easy to send missiles through, I guess. After the act break, we get a replay of the Rhyhorn fall. Though this time it gets flipped 90 degrees for some reason. And yeah, this happened in between acts and menace to menace as well. All's quiet in the castle. He probably thinks we're at the bottom of the gorge. I'll help you guys out. No, Little John, you stay away. We need to be as lazy as possible. By the gods of doom, they have escaped once more. Gods of doom. I hope they're all right. Suddenly, I'm in a different ship, just like they said I should be earlier. Just ignore the part where I was with Robin, I guess. Will, you guard the ship. Little John and I will see if we can dig up Infinata. What's happening, Robin? I think those words came out of the wrong person's mouth, Robin. Shut up, little Will! Robin Hood, know that you are not welcome. Well, I expected a lot of things out of you, Infinata, but rudeness was not one of them. Unfortunately, too, there is no space cat transition for them properly entering Dementia 5 this time. Out of all the footage they reuse, they skip the cat. Zero out of ten, garbage episode. Why have you come to my shadowed world? Don't play games with me, Nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid surprised Robin Hood and Little John. <laughs> also, Nightmare? Is this a cute nickname Rocket Robin Hood came up with for Infinata. I will squeeze the truth out of you. <laughs> of course, these are just robot snakes this time. Like the Grinch, I've lost my magic and now I'm an inventor. Have you had enough, mortal? Mortal? Are you immortal, Infinata? Cause kinda seems like you weren't. And they soon will regain the library and all my secrets! They'll destroy me! And speaking of, good job not using that library of Gorth to stop Infinata. Guess Athom and all them died for absolutely nothing. Come to stop you from destroying any more planets. You brainless mortals are such idiots. I have not caused your miserable planets to explode. I destroyed the whole galaxy once, but my hands are clean this time. He's lying, Robin. If he blew up those planets, he'd be the first to tell us. If you can't trust an interdimensional red skull wizard, who can you trust? But if he didn't do it, Robin, who did? Who done it? Go home, Robin Hood. Infinata just lightly scolds them and sends them home. 
<laughs> wow. I am growing bored. This is boring. I will show you the one you are seeking. Hi, Jupiter. It's Prince John. The rocket you ride is Prince John's. I've always wanted to ride Prince John's rocket. And once again, surviving in space with no gear is something you can totally do. If you could disarm it before it explodes on Sherwood Asteroid, and Little John and Will can find you with the ship I put them in. I lose them in a ship because that's where they were at this point in the plot to destroy not. And wait a second, Prince John now has a missile heading towards Sherwood Asteroid? Why did any of this episode happen then? Why don't we just shoot the missiles directly at Robin Hood instead of Infinata? Oh, oh yeah. I'm an idiot. Pour it on, little John, and keep an eye peel for Robin. Robin, come in, Robin. Can you hear me? Pour it on, little John, and keep an eye peel for Robin. Robin, come in, Robin. Can you hear me? Sweet! We've now reused dialogue from three different episodes. Here I am, safe and sound, sitting on top of enough oxenite to blow up half the galaxy. Here I am, safe and sound, sitting on top of enough oxenite to blow up half the galaxy. Yeah! Oxenite is what was used in the missiles in the plot to destroy Not. However, Prince John said he was using plutonium in this one. Oops. My plutonium missiles? Oxenite? Well, tell me, what did you have in mind hitching a ride on that missile? Well, tell me, what did you have in mind hitching a ride on that missile? This dialogue straight up doesn't make sense in Return Trip when Infinata put Robin on the missile. He purposely hopped on the rocket it, though in the plot to destroy not which is why will says this so this scene largely plays the same as the episode it's taken from until robin disarms the missile it's disarmed but there's still enough powder in there to destroy one villain's castle oh rocket robin who's just gonna dust prince john with a little plutonium powder it's fine well, the whole disarming also doesn't make any sense in this episode because Robin Hood doesn't actually disarm it like he did in the plot to destroy Not, where they let the disarmed missile harmlessly explode over Prince John's castle for a little want wah moment, and here they blow him the shit up. We're dead! We're dead! Well... This is the finale of the series, so, yup, maybe. <laughs> the castle is looking awfully intact here for having been blown up, so we can only assume that this is the sheriff in Prince John's hell. <laughs> good old Prince John, always good for a laugh. Would you mind not laughing so hard with a pocket full of oxenite? <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder how Prince John likes your present. I'd like one day to give Infinata a similar present. Well, you won't. And that's the end of the series. Yikes. That is one of the saddest crawls to a finish for a show. It's barely coherent anymore with how cobbled together this Frankenstein of an episode is from other episodes. Spider-Man is lucky at least that he didn't make a return trip to Dementia 5. Oh boy, here we go again. Ah! Ah! Welcome to Dementia 5, you knob. Yeah, I know, Infinata. I've been here before. Are you sure? Let me turn you into a skeleton. Would you stop just repeating dialogue? Uh, okay. I'm gonna loose my stone elephant on you then. Would you go back to just repeating dialogue? Don't you worry, your pretty little space head, Valus. We are here to help. I'm really gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna put a little dirt in Infinata's one eye with a cloblin.
No! Don't! Ah, uh, okay. So, uh, we're just not doing anything? Nah, we ran out of budget. Oh, for- Well, Dr. Menta, let's team up. Nah, I don't think so. Okay.